What's up guys, it's Bishop back with the vlogs. Are you serious? Yes, I'm so sorry about the delay. I know there's probably only one or negative one people waiting for a vlog. Last Saturday, went to Kimman Farms. Had a great time with family and friends. There's a whole bunch of people out there. It's this place where there's kind of like a pumpkin patch, a corn maze, little games for kids. You could play cornhole as adults. You could, kids could get their face painted. Uh, they had s'mores, they had good food. I mean, just kind of that family-friendly environment. So it was a good time, got some pumpkins as the season of fall is among us. Saturday also we watched my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's kids. And then at night, Kentucky beat South Carolina. Let's go! Moving on to an undefeated record at that time. Sunday had a good day, got the house ready, cleaned up for my aunt's birthday party. So she is on my wife's side of the family. We had everybody over here, so it was amazing. Praise be to God that uh, we just were able to host and had a lot of food, which her grandma provided a lot of steaks, and it was just fun hanging out with family, friends, just tossing football, hanging out on the deck, spending some time inside, just genuine conversation. So it was definitely a, a good night. Had some s'mores out of the fire pit, so that always makes for a good time. I'm a huge s'mores guy, big s'mores guy. Monday through Friday, again, had great days at work, and just about every day, cut grass. That includes my yard. And so, but after work, had a pretty big meeting, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. Had a meeting at Papa John's Pizza, because I am going to start making promotional videos for them. Hold all judgments, because Papa John's recently went under some political things. Their franchises are usually locally owned and operated, and so there's a disconnect there. So don't get it twisted. I'm not supporting anything that was said by former CEO or whatnot, this is genuinely, I'm a big fan of Papa John's. I'm a huge Papa John's guy. Always have been since grade school. And so what I'm going to be doing is creating content for their social media, but it's just been fun. So the past week I've been creating over a dozen promotional videos for them, 30 seconds to a minute clips, uh, promoting the different products they have, doing food reviews. And so had a wonderful meeting with Papa John's. And so it's, it's amazing. All glory to the Lord. Uh, it's it's been quite a trip now at 30 years old having this opportunity uh, come my way I'm definitely very familiar with the camera I've been on it since high school I hope I can create some good content and bring business their way you know Tuesday I really can't remember what we did probably just spent some time maybe at home took it easy that night uh, my son's been feeling a little what under the weather as my wife has also so uh, I think we took it easy Tuesday Wednesday night had Bible study which was a good time to be around our friends, fellowship with them, confess our sins to each other, and just really do life together. So it was a really good time uh, to have that Wednesday night. Also Wednesday night, a good friend of ours just had a baby, so we sent them some food, which was a good time, and connected with them. And so it was just, uh, God is just working in, in my life, and my friend's life, and my family's life. And so it's just a beautiful thing right now. Thursday, I really can't remember what I did as well. That's why I need to do these vlogs more regularly. I think I probably wrote some content, created some of the content for Papa John's because that's actually what happened. I knew that because Friday, hit a good day at work, then Rick came over and we shot some of that content. Some first promotional videos got shot. I also went to Papa John's Friday to pick up a few other things to use for some of the videos. And then Friday night, I hung out with my wife's cousin, my cousin as well, Sam. He introduced me to Fortnite. Now I know I'm late in the game. The game's been out for a couple years now, I think, and I'm a noob. However, my very first shot was a kill in my first little boy battle royale match. And I feel pretty proud of that, especially because Sam doubted me. He's like, hey, it's gonna take a couple times before you get the kill, but I actually picked up some loot, which was a shotgun, and then boom, shot someone. So that was awesome. Then I got a second kill, my very first time playing. I felt good, finished 10th. Uh, you know, it, it's a fun game, and I, I see the appeal to youth, especially uh, also to adults. It's a fun game. I It's free. I'm not going to spend any money on it. I don't know if and when I'll ever play it again. However, it was a good bonding moment with my cousin Sam. We stayed up till 1 in the morning. I cannot remember the last time I stayed up that late playing video games, so it felt good to play games again as a kid. Saturday, just like last Sunday when we hosted her aunt for her birthday Saturday, clean the house again because we're having some friends and some family over. So swept the whole floor, clean the carpets, all that fun stuff. Then we had our friends Tony and Becky over who just recently had a baby. So it was good to connect with them. My wife made some amazing spaghetti, ate with them. Then my parents and my brother came over. We watched the UK game. They lost to the Aggies, Texas A&M, who is a good football team. Uh, their defense especially is, is strong. It's tough though to go into bye week on a loss. So Kentucky plays Vanderbilt in two weeks and I'm sure they'll get the dub back at Kroger Field. Then yesterday I went to church. Sunday, great day, great message at church. 
Then went to my parents' house, spent some time with my family. My dad grilled amazing food. My mom cooked some of the food as well, so it was just good to spend time with them. Then my uncle, Sam, again, Logan, his girlfriend came over and we watched The Walking Dead season premiere, which was not, in my opinion, a good way to get back into the season. Very dry, boring, a lot of story. Story plus story equals double story. And a lot of the story, you didn't have to tell me, Walking Dead. A lot of people probably watching it assumed everything that you said. You don't create character Ken to kill off the mayor. It, it, anyway, not very happy with it. I think it would have been better if the king would have felt would have fallen through the glass. Spoiler, would have fallen through the glass and got bit. Because then you're like, whoa, what the heck? Like, man, we're never going to see that guy again. That, I think, would have kept the audience more. Uh, as opposed to introducing a new character and then killing him off within 30 minutes. Anyway, then today I had a good day at work. I'm actually in an all-day training Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week, learning a new system I've never learned before to help expand my knowledge. And so it was good after work, played with my son a little bit, then went, cut two yards, trimmed a yard, blew off a yard until dark, came back home, put my son to bed, shot more content, and I shot content this afternoon on my lunch break as well for Papa John's, because what I'm trying to do is build up enough content to present to the Papa John's team and say, okay, shotgun effect here. What do we like? What sticks? What doesn't? And then that will help me grow as a person, grow as a director, grow as an actor. See, I'm not a director or an actor. I'm really not. However, I like to do it and I like to think I am. So it kind of makes it fun. Got a lot of content coming soon. I have so many videos I found from like 2009, 10, 11, 12 that got removed from YouTube when I became a partner with, when, when Google acquired YouTube, a lot of people don't know this, a lot of my videos got removed due to copyright reasons. In fact, there were hundreds that got deleted and removed. So I found some more, I might read up, re-upload those, I don't know yet. Anyway, let's get into the verse of the day. today is Colossians 3.13. Bear with each other and forgive each other if any one of you has a grievance against another. Forgive just as the Lord has forgiven you. This is huge. Uh, this is huge. In my mind, I immediately think the whole, you know, love your enemies. However, this is more of forgiveness and what that looks like. And it's uh, a lot to unpack in just this uh, Bible study of the day for my vlog. However, Forgiveness is huge. The Lord has forgiven you. There's no reason for you not to forgive anyone else. That's strong, I know. It's hard. It's very difficult. Very difficult. Jesus is the best example, as he always is. When it comes to things that we struggle with, we need to look at Christ and see how he handled it. He's on the cross. He's already gotten beaten, mocked, you know, crown of thorns in the head. He's up on the cross and he utters the words, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Huge! Christ is forgiving people that just killed him, right? He's about to die, and he's saying, Father, forgive them. What? No one, and I mean no one, myself included, would, would be so quick to forgiveness in a time like that. That's why Christ is a perfect example. However, we can't imitate him fully because we are still in the flesh and we are still sinful people. However, we ought to forgive one another. We need to pray for the Lord, not only to soften each other's hearts, but our own heart. Pray for humility. Seek Jesus. And in seeking Him, the closer and closer you get to Him, the, clo the more and more you realize how much you need Him as your Savior of your sins. And so forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. And forgive one another. We need to be forgiving each other because He has forgiven us. If, if we don't forgive each other, why should He forgive us? Right? Like, we've offended a holy, righteous God. Our sins... Put him on the cross. He died for our sins, yet he forgives us. So you got to twist it because your boy might have offended you with his words. Or she did this with her actions and you're going to hold that resentment. Like, forgive each other. Forgive him. Forgive her. Ask for forgiveness from people who you think might be might might deserve it, right? Like, I think pride is, is one of my struggles, confessing that right now. Hit me up in your prayer list for that. And a lot of times, I'm too prideful to see how I've offended other people. So sometimes, when I have, like, one-on-one -on -one accountability talks or, you know, Monday night, oh, I remember what I did Monday night after Papa Jones. 
I met up with my buddy Alex because we had an accountability session one on one. We walked around. In our conversation, it started to rain. We sat down. We we're having a great conversation. Like I said to him, I was just like, man, like I've said this before to certain people I talk to. I'm like, hey, like help me understand areas in my life where I need to grow. Like, do you see a struggle here? Do, am I blind to this? Help me, help me right now. Because if you're not asking for help sometimes, if you're not, if you don't know you're blind, right? Unless someone points out your areas of weakness, you may never see it. You may be walking through life right now with a plank in your eye when you're trying to pull out the speck in someone else's. Seek Jesus, forgive one another. Don't have a grievance with anyone. Forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the vlog.